What is happening, folks? It is Jimmy G in the place to be. Welcome back to another episode of The Good, The Bad, The Awesome, where we review all things pop culture, mainly Star Wars Transformers, sprinkled in with a few other things. So if this is your first time here, we just ask you to like, subscribe, share with your friends. And if you've been here before, thank you for showing up again, because today, I have something amazing I want to show you. But first, before we get into that, I have a few little quick announcements on this. So as you all know, I've been trying to post videos, uh, at least Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, and Saturday, uh, which leaves me Sunday off. Uh, well, I found out that's not really sustainable for me. And plus, you all are getting a lot of notifications of videos. And you're like, I haven't watched any of the other ones. And so what I am going to do, I know this may make some of y'all sad, but we are going to go back to that Monday, Wednesday, Friday cadence of videos. So new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But I will sprinkle in other videos every now and then when I do seem to see that fit, whether it's a five minute review, whether it's a one minute short or a special announcement or something like that so never fear folks that will happen you will get another video uh, sprinkled in but Monday Wednesday Friday I commit to you that I will have a new video for you and your viewing pleasure uh, partially because I have some other things in the pipeline that I'm working on that are top secret right now but Hopefully soon I'll be able to reveal it to the world on that. So, uh, but also my family wants to see me too as well. So I digress. That's not what we're here to talk about. And today it is not a transformer. Uh, today it is not something from a galaxy far, far away. Today it is something if you can transport back in time to June of 1989. And yes, you, some of y'all may have guessed already. So uh, June of 1989, when I was 14 years old, an amazing movie came out that changed comic book movies forever. And that starred Mr. Michael Keaton, Jack Nicholson, Kim Bassinger, you guessed it, it is Batman. Tim Burton's Batman came out. It was an amazing flick. I didn't get to see it in the theaters. We, we didn't have quite the money to go to the theaters, but when it came out at Blockbuster, and some of y'all don't know what Blockbuster is, please Google it, search it. Back in the day, we had to drive to a store to get a videotape uh, to watch, and sometimes our hearts were crushed when all the videotapes were rented out. But once we got that, we got some popcorn and things like that, and we had a Blockbuster movie night. Uh, so. When it came out, you better believe we rented it and we were able to watch it. And I was in awe, man, Michael Keaton in that bat suit. At first I saw Michael Keaton in other roles and I'm like, him as Batman? I don't know if that's going to happen, but you know what? He pulled it off. He did a great job in Joker. Oh my gosh. Jack Nicholson made, did one of the best Jokers that I have ever seen. I mean, top three Jokers. I mean, you got Jack Nicholson, you have Heath Ledger, of course, they're like right there i think tied uh, for first place uh some days jack's a little higher some days heath is a little higher um and then you have mark hamill and you're like mark hamill played the joker yeah in the cartoons my friend he did an amazing job as the joker in those cartoons and then all the other ones can kind of be there as well but there was a vehicle and i know we talked about in an earlier mcfarland video there was a vehicle I was just like, oh my gosh, the Batmobile is just as uh, iconic as any other vehicle out there. The, the, the Knight Rider uh, vehicle kit, just as, as iconic as Airwolf, just as iconic as the A-Team van. Yes, the Batmobile. Uh, when it was revealed, it was amazing. And McFarlane Toys came out with one and it was sold out. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to find it in stores and figure out where to get it. But guess what? One day I walked into a store and FYE, for God knows how reason why it still exists. Uh, personally, I think it might be a drug front. I'm not for sure, but don't take me for that. But Because uh, who is going to buy DVDs and CDs still? But they have a lot of pop culture stuff. I walked in and I was perusing and walked around and I saw it. Saw it right there. And we're going to unbox that for you today. So let's go back to my lab and let's take a look at what we've got. There it is, in all of its glory. I had to move my chair out of the way that I normally sit in because it's so huge. Look at that box. Look at 
that vehicle. Todd McFarlane, thank you for making this amazing toy that, oh my gosh, I can't wait to open it. But here it is. I was able to get this. I was able to find it. The bad part is, is FYE charges like more than anybody else for this thing. Because normally you can get this for $59.99. I had to pay 80 bucks for this plus tax. Uh, so yeah, uh, and that was with a 10% discount. So um but I had to have it. I had to have it. This is this is this is part of my childhood. This is this is the vehicle, uh, like like the Ecto One, uh, the DeLorean. This is it, the Batmobile. And so you know what? We're not going to time lapse open this because I want you all to savor this too. I want you all to have a little what I would like to call just a you know oh yeah opening time with the Batmobile. But first, let's look at this box. So I hope it's not broken on the inside. Oh, and, and I don't mind the beat up box because I was going to take it out of the box anyway. If I was going to keep it case fresh, yes, I'd want a nice, beautiful box. This one is a little bit beat up, but let's take a look. Oh, gosh, this is, look at that right there. That is so cool. And then when you look at the top right there, the Flash, the Batmobile, that is awesome. And then the side, you got it says Batmobile. This side, you can kind of see that, that Batman fits in there. That's the next thing I get is the Batman with the cowl because I need to get the cowl. And then we got the Flash Batmobile again. And then on the bottom, just all the obligatory. There you can see that price ticker. Uh, but again, I got 10% off of it. So, but I still paid over what normal retail was for this. But I don't care. I needed to have it. Yeah, this is it. We're going to open this baby up see what it's all about so let me get my good old wesley snipes in here and let's in this box i wish i could play the batman music uh, bum, 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 bum. yeah but it can't play it because of copyright reasons oh, just so nice to slice that box open let's open her up oh we got another piece of tape underneath You could always tell when someone was born by pretty much who their Batman was, as well as who their Star Wars trilogy is. You can always tell. And so my Batman, of course, Michael Keaton. You know, y'all have heard me say that. I just pull it. Oh. Oh, let's take a look at that aft view right there. Look at it right there in its glory, just waiting to back out. Oh, jeez. Let's pull. It's like delivering a baby. Breach. Oh. oh my gosh, there's something that fell. I hope it didn't break. Oh. Ooh. Man. All the feels right now. All the feels. Come on, get off here, you stupid piece of cardboard. You bane of my existence. We have a Batmobile we got to get into. Sealed in this plastic. I need uh, my other guest star. Where are you, scissors? Yes. This is so cool. I'm sorry. I'm just gushing like a schoolgirl over this stuff uh, because it is amazing. Um, so before we get into what is in the box, not much. There's three pieces in the box. Two of those pieces are this right here. And then the piece, the resistance, the Batmobile. Okay, let's put these fins on. There's a right way or a wrong way. Yes, there is. So if you look here, when you're putting this together, you can see one, one, two. So you know which fin goes where. Ah, boom. Boom goes the dynamite. And boom goes the dynamite on that. There we go. There it is. So let me get y'all handheld here just for a little bit so we can kind of take a closer look 
at this amazing wonder. Let me slice y'all here. Whoop. There we go. Just because it's so big, I can't, I can't get it all in the frame. So we're going to start at the top here, but just look how sleek it is. Now I know people have been complaining. This is gray versus the black here. And I know some people have been painting it. I don't mind. I, you know, Hey, there's gotta be a reason for it. We haven't seen the movie yet. So gotta be a reason. And then we get to the butt. Oh, that wide aft right there. Um, but look at the detail. I mean, you can see the molding. So cool. Let's take a look at the front here really quick. Oh yeah. That's just awesome. Does this spin? Nope. doesn't spin. That would be so cool if that spun. That would be cool if these lights lit up. Oh, uh, you know, I know there's people probably modding this thing. And then here we got the side view. Let me, let me prop it up like this here. Sorry. There we go. Wheels spin like wheels should. And then you got some, some of the little accents here. Now this doesn't look painted. It looks all molded plastic. Uh, and then the accents on the back there and then underneath just has the bat logo. That's it. There's nothing really underneath here. And then again, let's take a look at the butt. Sorry for the camera movements folks, but there it is. You got the exhaust, got the tail lights. He breaks for no one. Let's open up the cockpit here. Okay. Opening up the cockpit, we got, of course, the card. And then when you look inside, I don't know if you can get a good look at this, but there is so much detail. I wish I can get a camera in there so you can see really all the paint and everything that, that has gone into this. Uh, steering wheel doesn't move, but that's okay. Uh, but yeah, that's phenomenal. This is awesome. I love it. The plastic feels good. I mean, it doesn't feel like, you know, like premium plastic, but it feels good. I mean, for, for 60 bucks, I mean, you can't beat it. You can't beat this toy. Uh, if you want something more premium feeling, go with hot toys, go with sideshow collectibles, go with those people. But this again, looks really, really nice. So let me cut back to, um, sitting back down and let's see if we can get Michael Keaton. In. So y'all remember Michael Keaton here, the, uncalled Batman. That's the only one I can get. Oh, now he's peg, peg armed Michael Keaton. Oh no, let's get that arm back on there. That, that hand. There you go. But, uh, we will try to see if we can get him inside the Batmobile. Let's see if these figures fit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can see that. There he is. Let's tuck his cape back a little bit there. Looks a little sloppy. I kind of like that where you can see his face. You know, that looks pretty cool. I think it looks awesome. And then you can, the, the way the cockpit is really cool. It comes forward and then it goes slides back just like that. And now you have him inside the Batmobile ready to fight crime. And so, uh, just, just overall, just super gorgeous. I have nothing really bad to say about this. The only bad thing I have to say is release more of these because I had to pay extra for it. Um, but you know, this will be a really cool showpiece. The glossy plastic will show off your fingerprints. So you got to be careful about that. But, oh man, that's smooth. That, that roll is smooth. I, I wonder if there's a way I can break it. So that way, if I'm not break it, but you know what I mean? Put the brakes on. So that way, if I'm displaying this, it's not moving that it just kind of stays where it needs to. I'm sure I can put something there and rig it, uh, to make that happen. But, oh gosh, this is so cool. Where does he get those wonderful toys? Come on, cockpit. Let's open up get Batman back out. <sighs> they don't make it easy. That's okay. There we go. And slide forward. There we go. I'm Batman. I'm Michael Keaton. You may know me as the Vulture or Batman or uh, one of the rejects from NSYNC. Um, but here I am in my vehicle to talk to you about 
diabetes. I'm just kidding. Um, but uh, let's get back together. Let's talk about some of my final thoughts. Let's gush over this a little bit more and uh, tell you what I think about it. All right. Now time for some final thoughts. I just, I don't have any words. I know, you know, a lot of y'all watch this to see if there's the reviews, the good, the bad, uh, the awesome around this stuff. I just love toys. I love them. I love them. And I love it when something like this comes out and just brings joy to my heart. I mean, this is, this is straight from my childhood right here. If I, if I was a custom person, I'd really do some really cool stuff with this, but there's not much you need to do. The gloss of this is just amazing. Um, being able to fit the figure inside of there, awesome. I mean, oh gosh, just as I'm continuing to look at this, there is just so much more detail. But uh, but as, as you can see from some of the other shots that I have, uh, just overall, the only negative I have is, again very hard to find right now uh but um the yeah the cockpit here the the canopy and and the batmobile just don't match colors this is more of a this is a lighter gray uh lighter black than this black here so i don't know if that has something to do with what's in the movie or not but that's what you see here uh it would be cool if this spun It'd be cool to put lights in, but I guess that's stuff you can kind of customize if you wanted to. But this is a very cool display piece that you can that you can put somewhere. Now, if you don't have a lot of room, this is not going to fit. This is 22 inches long, 22 inches. So I got to find somewhere to put this to display. Uh, and some of y'all may be like, why don't you just do it as a giveaway? No, not this one. Uh, if I find another one for really cheap, maybe you never know. Uh, you never know what might happen. Uh, but my overall thoughts on this, this, this it, very cool. I mean, the wheels roll really great. I need to get the cowl Batman to put him in there. That would be great. I'd love to get the Batwing. That uh, it's it's uh, I guess it's exclusive to McFarland Toys website. Uh, it's two forty nine, uh, so that's a pretty penny. So I got to save up some shekels for that one. Um, but uh, I'm so glad that even though this box was damaged, that the Batmobile was not. It was in perfect shape. Uh, so be on the lookout. I mean, if you really need one, you can find them third party. But right now, people are selling them on eBay from anywhere from 100 to uh, 150 to $200. Uh, so if you're patient, wait. Wait for it and get it. There is uh, another, I think it's Jada Toys. They make a Batmobile. Um, uh, not quite as detailed as McFarland's, but it is a, it, it's significantly cheaper uh, that you can get. You can find those at Target, Walmart, different places like that. They also make a Batwing that's, that's significantly cheaper, significantly smaller too as well that you can find there too as well. But, um, but McFarland Toys, typically, I, I, I just recently discovered McFarland Toys. I just recently started opening those and I've recently fell in love with them. Uh, so really, really great job. Applause. A round of applause for you, Todd Father. So glad that this is out. You have made the, the how old was I? 14 year old child in me when this came out, happy. You know, as a 14 year old, you probably, you're like, I don't want to play with toys anymore. That doesn't look cool. But you know, secretly on the inside, you're like, ooh, I'd really love to have this. So if you're 14 and you're watching this, man, don't think, don't, don't be afraid of what you, don't, don't, don't rely so much on what your friends think. Get you those toys, have fun with them. You know, you only live once, so make that happen. Don't live with any regret, get you the Batmobile. Uh, but you're like, I only have an allowance of 20 bucks. Well, then save those $20 and continue to save them until you get to that $60 plus tax and get you the Batmobile. Um, if you're an adult, get you the Batmobile. If you are a, a, a senior citizen, get you the Batmobile and then forgot that you got the Batmobile and then get another one. And the next thing you know, you have a bunch of Batmobiles. Then you become on, then you get on TLC's hoarders and they go, why are there so many Batmobiles in here? And then the next thing you know, you're, you're, st you're sitting on a retirement fund for your kids to go to college, your grandkids to go to college because you have 400 Batmobiles that you forgot you bought. 
uh, along with all the other toys. <laughs> I digress. I don't know where I'm going with this, but I'm just so giddy. I just love this toy. On a scale of good, bad, awesome, there is no words beyond awesome for this thing. I think it is amazing. I think you should go out and get it. Uh, I, uh, I, I, I don't really have much negatives to say about it. I think it's fun. If you look at it through childlike wonder, you're going to go, this thing is amazing. So with that, I leave you till the next time that we open something amazing again, but uh, y'all stay young, have fun, and be awesome. Bye-bye now.